Tape story. Dokotsu Monogatari. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. that hey guys, I'm Shazel, and welcome to my next LP. It's gonna be really quick, because Cave Story is a fairly short game. I'm sure all of you have heard of it. Uh, but I'm not sure all of you have played it. A lot of people should play this game, it's really awesome. I mean, I'm not sure everyone would love it, but it's a good game. So, I just, I recommend it. It's free. So, you can't really go wrong with free. Anyway, some more. A transmission. An instant transmission. Ho 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 ho. Dragon Ball Z references. Connecting to network logged on. Executing chat algorithm. Zoo. You there? It's me, Kazuma. I managed to get away somehow, but I got lost. I found a shelter, but there's nothing there. You can hear me. Please answer. Please. Start point. Hmm. Seems pretty ominous. Oops. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick. Alright, so... I want to show you guys all the possible endings of this game, except maybe the secret one, because I still haven't even eaten the, the secret thing. So, here's the first possible death that you can get in the entire game. As you can see, it says air, and then it says a number that's slowly uh, getting lower. When it reaches zero, you drown. And this is actually the first ending of the game, technically, because this is uh, you dying is the first ending. And there are three ways to die that I know of. Like, three ways that have different messages. And this one says, You have drowned. Want to retry? Yes. Alright. That was the first death you could get in the game. Or the first possible uh, ending. The next ending you can get is by touching this spike right here. You have died. Want to retry? Okay, for now those are the only endings we can get. There are there are, I believe, four or five more endings that we can get. I believe yeah, I think four. So only one of the other ones involves uh, you dying. As you can see, we're completely defenseless, so we have to just dodge all these guys. <gasps> it's a secret heart container. Slash life capsule. Capsule Corporation. I knew this had to do with Dragon Ball Z. Okay. That's... Peace. Thank you. Ah. 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 Ah, unnecessary noises. Permit gunsmith. Let's talk to him. Snore. Well, I guess we can take. I guess we can loot him. We got the four star. This is probably one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. Some more. A transmission. But anyway, we just got our first mission. Searching for a user, Sue. One user, Sue, found. Sue, please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? Brother, so lonely. Well, that's too bad for you, Kazuma. Anyway. Press Z to jump, I forgot to mention that, and X to shoot once you get your gun. Up is to look up and shoot upwards. Down is to go inside of buildings and examine things like life capsules, and then use the left and right arrow keys to move around. It's really simple. Also, you should shoot enemies and take these little yellow energy crystals because they level up your weapon, which is really cool. Once your once your weapon gets to level, once your weapon gets up to the next level, it becomes stronger, obviously, and it also usually. Uh, gains more, a few advantages over its previous weapons. Though there is only one weapon in the game that completely like ig ignores that and decides to be a douchebag and it's all like, whenever I level up, I get worse. It's called the Nemesis. You get it at the very end of the game. 
it's a really powerful weapon, but if you leveled up, then it eventually starts shooting rubber duckies instead of uh, things, energy blasts. As you can see, we're now level 2, so instead of shooting one tiny blast, we shoot two. Now, before we face that demon door, that's what I like to call it, we should go back to the start point and not drown, and we should save. It's always important to save whenever you can, because later on there are only a few save spots, so it gets kind of difficult to do anything really. Like, there's a part at the very end of the game that's ruined, but it's just extremely annoying because there are no save points at all. Bro. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Demon Door, you're done. Yeah, did it. Okay, let's go in the door. Sue, answer me. I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat, and I've been reduced to beating on cockroaches. I totally made him mispronounce that, which is hilarious. Uh -huh, that was a joke. Uh -huh. If I have to, though, I really will. Hand over the key. No, I won't! Are you trying to protect Sue? She's a stranger. She's not one of us. Sue's a good person. I'd never betray her. Toroko, when the doctor comes, you know he'll take someone away again. If we don't turn Sue over, it might be you he takes instead. Foreshadowing. But, but, the key, Toroko. No, ow. Quest mark, or quest and march. Question mark, exclamation points, that was a bit late. Love this music also. What? You're not an enemy? Not for sure it was them. I'm king. I'm the number one in this village. Not that means not that, that means a whole lot with only six of us left. Well, seven counting Sue. She's not one of us though. She's just an outsider who showed up recently. Alright, well, I guess we should explore this Miniko village. First thing that any cave story playing person would want to do here would be to go all the way up here. Go into this door. Yamashita Farm. I wonder what Yamashita means. Oh like flower or something like that. No, I doubt that. I think that has I think that starts with beach. Sorry, I don't know my Japanese at all. Excuse me, princesses. And you get a life capsule. And that gives you, I believe, I was gonna say, I believe four, but it's actually three, so. I'm not. But anyway, it gives you three health, so that's nice. So, you can have nine health. Okay, let's talk to this little guy over here. This is our farm. We raise flowers here. My job is to watch over the farm. We Mimikas depend on these flowers for sustenance. Spread flowers, though, are bad news. If you eat a red flower, they say you turn into a giant monster, I mean, your blood starts to boil and you soon fall over dead. Good thing we don't have any of those growing here. Okay. That's good to know. I, I somehow doubt that... I completely doubt that the main villain, the doctor, is going to use those red flowers to kill the amigos. No way. That will never happen. Chests. I love chests. Got the map system. With this handy dandy device, we can do tons of things, and by that I mean we can just look at the map. And later on, this actually is fairly important uh, in getting an optional item. But whatever. whatever. And also for getting a uh, puppy. I know, you actually get puppies in this game. It's really weird. Okay, save point. I would like to save indeed. <clears throat> okay, so once you've gotten the the thingy, the thing and the stuff, by that I mean the life capsule and the map, you should go into this place the reservoir. Not sure you guys thought I would mispronounce that, but I didn't. Oh crap, did not going to do that. Fish. Let's talk to this fisherman. Sue? Yeah, 
yeah, I know her. That's the cute girl who stays cooped up in, our, in Arthur's house all the time, right? She showed up here not too long ago. We found her washed up here in the reservoir. She doesn't seem to like us much. I don't know why, since she's an even just like us. But King said that she wasn't one of them. Oh god, a so no I wonder what that does. Chickfish. <coughs> I hope we don't die. And again, sorry about her. That girl. Hey, look, it's Toroko. I'm gonna give this to her. Ah! No, I don't want you to run away from me. Why'd you do that? That wasn't nice. Give me the key. No! How did you just run through water? That's not even physically possible. Wow. The Nigas defying the laws of physics since 2004. I'm pretty sure that can't actually happen. I'm pretty sure someone can't run at normal speed through water. Why you? Whoa. Oh no, I had to shoot her. Did I kill her? If I didn't, I'm sure later on you'll have to do the same thing. Eek! Save me, save me! Oh. You're... you're not with the doctor? Oh, I'm sorry. You had me worried. The doctor's such a mean guy. How can you have better village and take us away? Sometimes he can kill me us. Like my brother. He killed my brother. Oh, that pendant. You found it for me. It's who gave that to me. Well, I shouldn't have it anymore. He gets his ears all up in a tangle. See his suit and I get it all. You can have it. <gasps> Bizarre bitches! There you are. You can't hide. No, no. I've got the nose of a bloodhound. Indeed, you do. The nose, and I dare say the brain as well. Misery! I found her first. You, you guys are with the doctor, aren't you? So you're Sue, eh? The doctor's called for you. Come along now. What? Not Sue. Well, apparently you are. Ah! Balrog, I leave the rest to you. No way! You got the wrong... Not again! I always have to clean up. You're a founder first. What's your deal? You're gonna fight me, fight me with that thing? Now, if you say no, he actually won't fight you. Which is kind of interesting. I knew it! And here's the first boss of the game, Balrog. This guy's pretty cool. He's probably one of my favorite characters in the game. He's a really nice guy. He may not look it, but, he seemed, but he is a, a jerk with a heart of gold. And there we go, we got him. Just you wait! Bada Balrog. And we won't level up to level 3 with this, but we won't pretty soon. I can tell. Alright, so I guess the next thing we should do is tell King and maybe a couple other people that Toroko has been kidnapped. I think I'm gonna leave that guy to his masturbation. I don't wanna talk to him, because that would be kind of odd. That would be kind of weird. It's like walking in on someone. So, I'm just gonna leave him there. Second, I don't want to go back to the farm. Why would I want to go back to the farm? There's no reason to go back to the farm. Ooh, let's go into this house. This is the assembly hall. Oh, there's King. I can talk to him first. Let's look at the stuff here. You never know what you might find. One room in cave story, check everything in any order. Like, in as many orders as you can, because there are actually a lot of secrets in the game that you can only get by looking at things in a specific order. Crack. Snap. You see something lying beyond the flames. Hmm. We might need something like that. They need it later. The key to Arthur's house. I thought there was at least one other one. I'll ask you, Toroko, acting like you didn't know. Maybe Jack knows where to find it. Jack, huh? Okay, let's find that Jack. He's probably right here. Yep, there he is. Mimiko Graveyard. Danger, no entry. 
What? Drunk was me kidnapped? Oh no! I gotta tell King right away! I already told him. Whatever, I wanted to go into the graveyard anyway, so thanks for being an idiot. This music too. This is nice. This guy is really annoying because he won't attack you, or he won't let you attack him until he starts trying to attack you, and even that takes a while to kill. See? Okay, I don't want to get hit here because then every time you get hit, your weapon loses uh, energy, and it can level down. So that sucks. No, not that. Okay. Arthur's grave. There's writing on the tombstone. I didn't read that. But it probably said something like, Here lies Arthur, I'm a mega hero. Yeah. It's like, Mimiga hero, Arthur. Ah, ah. Okay, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Actually, you know what? No. First thing I the first thing I want to do before I end the episode, by that I mean the only thing the episode is saved. So we'll go into Arthur's house, which is right here, and then after that I would like to refill my health and save my game. Alright, that is it for episode 1 of Cave Story. I'll see you guys in the next episode when we continue exploring the Nika Village and we do other crap like that. So I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.